And of course, I take this opportunity to say special welcome to each and everyone for being part of this, the official opening of our 2023 Uganda Festival. Permanent Secretary, Mr. Javon Williams, the Ministry of Karakou, Pidiman Nikotez, local government, Chairman of the Regatta Committee, Mr. Leo Joseph, Officer in Charge of the Northern District, Superintendent uh, Salomon Stafford, Latrina Mills, representing uh, Grenada Tourism Authority, Reverend Father Myers from the Anglican community. Special invited guests, well wishers, boatmen, members of the committee, each and everyone, pleasant good evening. I am Shem Kwamina, your master of ceremonies for this evening's proceedings. Before we get started, of course, we want to invite Reverend Myers to invoke the Lord's presence here with us. So I ask you kindly, if you're, if you're sitting, to please stand as we ask for the Myers. There's a saying that there's a time for everything. And it's a time for this to begin, and so that we have to do it in the Lord's prayer. Let us pray in the name of God, Father, and God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. For God, we come together in the name of Christ and thanks for allowing us to come to share the opening ceremony. We ask that in all we to the fire and help us to be able to carry through the men with success, with peace, without any kind of violence or ill work. But all we be able to enjoy your blessings that come to us each and every day, and we make ourselves available to receive them. So do this, Lord God, and do it everyone participating in this special occasion for us. We thank you, Lord God, for your questions and ask to hear this as in all this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing as we invite uh, Niana Alexander. Of course, she's one of the contestants for Aqua Hall team to lead us in the national anthem. <laughs> Thank you very much, Niana. Beautifully done. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the microphone a member of the Karakur Regatta Committee, Ms. Lily Pascal, to officially welcome you this evening. Ms. Pascal. Thank you, Mr. Chenan. Permanent Secretary within the Ministry of Karakur and Pacific Market Affairs, Mr. Javan Williams. Chairman of the Karakur Regatta Committee, Mr. Leo Joseph. Superintendent Mr. Solomon Stafford, Officer in Charge of the Karakou Police Station, Representative from the Villela Tourism Authority, Ms. Rina Mills, Father Tom Mayors, other special invited guests, members of the Karakou Regatta Committee, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, pleasant evening. A welcome makes an audience comfortable. It enables relaxation and the ability to partake effectively. As we prepare to celebrate the Caracol Regatta Festival 2023 under the theme Timeless Culture on the Sea, I would like to, on behalf of the Caracol Regatta Committee, welcome each and every one of you to join us in making this festival a success. I believe just as it takes a community to grow a child, it takes the community to make any festival successful. Today, 
The 30th day of July is our grand opening. It's the very start of a fully booked week of all different activities. Let me not just take the opportunity to welcome you to tonight's event, but the calendar of events of your coming week. On Tuesday, 1st August 2023, Tipsy Tuesday, or final karaoke, this one will be a competition with prizes for all and a bingo. On Wednesday, 2nd August 2023, our annual night cruise, Bag of Sugar. Live performance by the artist himself, Terra, and our very own Superfly Kids. Tickets are $70 and can be purchased from any one of the committee members or right here at the Caribbean Regatta Juba. On Thursday, 3rd August, we move to this Aquaval Team 2023. Five lovely contestants we will see later on. This show will be on the Hillsboro 10th Court, starting time 7 p.m. sharp. Adults will pay $45, secondary school children $25, primary school children $15. Five years and younger, you enter free. Saturday is the highly anticipated Around the Island race, and after party in front of Tony Shop in Wayward. The race begins at 10 a.m. Sunday is an entire day of onshore activities, road relays, and more. Following our all white party on the tennis court, 9 p.m., two bands, four artists. On Monday, there is a continuation of the onshore activities and prize giving ceremony. There you have it, a fully booked week, our part and parcel of the Caribou Regatta Festival 2023. With no further delays, I welcome you, welcome you once again. Come on, you could do better than that. Put your hands together for Miss Pascal. Timeless culture on the sea. I wonder if you could be familiar with the slogan. We sail by day. I'm not hearing all you. We sail by day. That's right. So we sail by day and party by night as we celebrate 58 years. Yeah, that's a long time. I was not even here. Right? So we celebrated 58 years this year. Ladies and gentlemen, the pleasure is mine to introduce to the microphone the chairman of the Regatta Committee, Mr. Leo Joseph, to give some remarks. Yes, Gavin Williams. Minister of Character and the Communication with the Government. Ms. Rena Mills, representing the GTA. I should also say Ms. Lily Pascal, the faculty chairman, chairperson of the Caribbean Regatta Committee. What? Uh, Father, representing the Anglican community, uh, and Superintendent Stafford, head of the Chicago Police Station. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. A regatta Y, a regatta T, a regatta T. The acronym YTT may be very familiar to you. It stands for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Because you see, a culture is something that you can get rid of easily. It's in you, it's part of you. And as long as Karaku exists, I think Regatta will be a part of Karaku because it speaks to our way of life. Karakuans are seafaring folks. We live and go by the sea. We use the sea for just about everything for meditation and for. A salvation for recreation, for transportation, you name it. So it behooves us all to be very, very familiar with the sea and every aspect 
that continues to that is good for career too. Thinking back over the years, I think uh, this year represents 58 years of Caribou Regatta. A very long time. And shortly, if there is a retirement age given to Regatta, I think in the next few years, we might have to retire it. But no, Regatta will live on. Just this year, I was very, very surprised to, to know that there are some young people who are very energetic and a lot of potential. And again, I must at this time compliment Miss Lily Pascal, who was heading a team of very, very energetic and young Caracons. And at, at this point in time, I would like you to give them a lot of round of applause because they've been doing a fantastic job. We know if this continues and they're guided in the right direction, something as culturally important as Carol, as this for Carol too, will be going on for a very long time. So this time around, we'd like to say once again, welcome you to this uh, 50th year of Ugata. We're expecting a bumper sailing event this year because we will be having returning to our shores of the Quake contingency which is has always been our biggest supporter and just today I was consoled by the fact that the chief personally the commander of the, the Quake Sailing Club called to inform me that they're coming to sink carry food we're coming to St. Carol. One day, uh, St. That marine club is very appropriate. They come in large numbers. So while they're here, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to show them the usual Carol to hospitality. And for all those of visitors who will be coming to our shores for this Carol to gather, we hope that you have a very, very wonderful time. And you are Caracons here. You'll just be able to show them the hospitality that Caracons Possess. So without uh, further ado on too much of a long talk, I'd like to say again, welcome you all to this opening of our Regatta Festival for 2023 and hope you have a wonderful time this year. Stay safe and have a happy time, but party carefully. Good night. Thank you very much, Mr. Joseph. We have already received what been said. I want to invite Solomon Stafford to give some pure remarks. Mr. Stafford. Good evening, Kariku. Good evening everyone that is presently in Kariku, I want to stand on the protocol established. As I look at, look back at the gather, I can remember from the time I know myself that event A time early, the 1st of August, used to be my best time because I know the whole family will go to the beach, ensure that a lot of food is cooked. And uh, in those days, I really liked my belly. And I know that I will have great feel. This premier event in Karaku. I've drawn visitors from far and near. 
I ask you the diaspora, take this opportunity to return, to visit with their loved ones. Especially since the advent of COVID-19, which actually held back many due to its associated restrictions. Now that these restrictions are lifted, People are returning in droves. Good business and to have some clean fun. This period extend for a full week. The fact that the emancipation holiday is on Monday the 7th. The regatta Period of food for clean fun, and as such, the police is intentional about creating a collaborative effort, a warm and cooperative effort with the people of Karakum and visitors alike. To ensure and to facilitate security both at sea and on the land. We intend to achieve this. To ensure that we police every event that is associated with the regatta. To ensure that our Caribbean public are well protected and served. We endeavor during this week to have all personnel, all our personnel available and to have the necessary boots on the ground. But I want to remind us, safety and security would not depend only on the police, but on every one of us. For we are all ambassadors to promote Kariku among the Grenadian Islands, of course, being the largest in the region and further afield. We must encourage visitors to want to come to Kariku and to do that. Our behavior must demonstrate that friendliness, that innate culture that we have experienced over the years to have clean fun without issues failing to cooperate with those that are entrusted with the planning and the execution that the committee and all 
sponsors, and other organizers, promoters, vendors, as to follow the direction, as to follow the proper execution of these regatta so that we can have a successful regatta 2023 and beyond. I want to thank you for your continued support to the police. Because clearly, without you, the police cannot really resolve any issue. It is with your input, it is with your cooperation, collaboration, that we have been able to solve any issue at all, and we believe, and harness and encourage that continued support from the public. So let us have clean fun. Let us leave the knives, the glasses, the guns, even the bottles, where they're supposed to be in the cases, so that we do not have incidents that would have to put away anyone for a wonderful week of enjoyment that is expected. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Stafford. All right, we're moving right along. We are going to invite uh, the representative for Grenada Tourism Authority, Ms. Serena Mills, to give some remarks. Ms. Mills. Governor and Secretary, this is the Ministry of Taipo and Diplomatic Affairs, Mr. Javan Williams. Chairman of the Taipo Data Committee, Mr. Leo Jesus, and other members of the committee, Superintendent Solomon Stafford, and all other officers present, Father Mass, to you, ladies and gentlemen, especially invited guests, I see the contestants for the team. Archibald um, Quinshaw, they're here as well. To the media, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good evening, one and all. I bring you greetings from the Grenada Tourism Authority. We are yet happy to be a major sponsor in the Caribou Regatta Festival. The Caribou Regatta Festival, as you know, it is the longest serving sailing festival in the region, and it is something that we ought to be proud of. We have to make special efforts with them to keep this alive, because if we do not pass it on to the younger ones, then it would be no more. So of course we have to work together as a people, as a community, to introduce it in the schools, because once it starts with the younger ones, we know that it is there for generations to come, but we cannot leave it up to um, the officials of the government, we have to work together to get that done. Only about two weeks ago, we had the launching of the We Were Pride. And when I got there very early in the morning, there were so, so many visitors here, there, in Wynwood, which speaks volume. There are a lot of people out there who enjoy our culture. And if they enjoy it, and they come in here for it, then we have to appreciate and harness what we have. We have to keep it alive, and we have to work together in keeping this alive. I want to take the opportunity to, everyone, to invite everyone to our festival, our 2023 festival, to those of you who are viewing online. We invite you to carry to, I mean, there is no other place that you would want to be. It is the safest summer event, and I can boast of that. So we invite each and every one of you to come over to Caribou for our Regatta Festival. It will be 
a great one and working along closely with the committee we can confirm it would be a great festival we just have to work together to support and to keep it alive in the same breath i would just like to take the opportunity to wish the committee a great um i wish the the, the planning committee all the best in the planning and execution of this year's festival. We know that you've been doing a great job at the far, continuing doing a great job because we know that this year's festival will be a bumper one. Thank you, one. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Ms. Mills, representing uh, really that tourism authority. We'd like to recognize the media houses, you see uh, Informa, KOMG Production, and of course, Explore Caracu and uh, P. Matley. We thank you so much for carrying this uh, this event live. Without any further ado, I want to call to the microphone. And of course, the pleasure is mine to invite the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Caracu and P. Matley's local government, Mr. Javon Williams, to give some remarks. Mr. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Chairman of the Regatta Committee, tell you enjoy this. Tell you enjoy this. Superintendent Stafford, of St. Charles of the Northern District, and of St. Charles of the Police Station, Christina Mills, the GTA representative, Father Miles, our young Queen contestant representative, and Ms. Pascal. Good night to everyone. Uh, okay. And here, this afternoon, on behalf of the Minister, who has suddenly has to rush off today after a very important meeting very early in the morning. So his remarks would have catered or centered around reminding us on the transmission agenda specific to regatta. As was said by more than one person who spoke tonight, regatta is one of the longest serving festivals in the Caribbean, started since 1965. So we are saying that we are 50 eight years old. Now, the question is, where are we today from 1965 to present in respect to the kind of festival that we can portray or put forward for the visitors and locals alike? Ms. Mills said, the culture must have with us. We must have the young ones. And it is happy to see so many young ones here tonight. I hope the parents are guiding them for the festivity and not just for time of fun. Let us take this time to reflect on the contributors. Over the years, we have a number of actors taking part in the committee to ensure that character regatta around this time of the year was very successful. You can thank numerous persons who contributed in one way or the other. And everyone's contribution is vital in one way or the other. Some may put a value to their contribution. Some may not do that. But we must remember as a community to grow and to adequately produce for the young ones, we must keep in mind that our contribution must be altruistic as much as possible. Some people come out and they look for something, but do you want to be helping or do you want to be gaining? You have to make up your mind. I ask of the committee to take the challenge for the next few years. So when we reach our 60th birthday, we can demonstrate that we have grown seriously in form of the Regatta Festival. Cargo also prides itself as a boat building nation. Regatta reflects the sailing of boats. Where are we today in the culture of boat building? Can the committee, who is professing to be a legal business entity, put a strategic structure in place that can reflect transformation so we can show? that the contentions, the quarrels, the good times, the bad times can be put together so the nation itself can benefit from regatta. The visitors will feel proud to come to Caracol and to participate in our culture. So the ministry is always going to be behind regatta. We have contributed this year's, to this year's festival to the tune of $150,000 to support this year's regatta. And we'll continue to see where means of improving and increasing on that amount to ensure that we can attract visitors to participate, we can attract the locals to invest more and to put something to regatta. We ask also the business community 
Without the data, you will tell me not the truth. Your beers may not be sell as the truth. Your food may not be sell as the truth. So everyone who benefits from the festival should contribute to the growth of the festival. So we ask to challenge ourselves to our 60th body can be grand and bumper. So with these few words, we want to declare the 2023 regatta formally open. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, thank you very much, P.S. Williams. I did promise you it's going to be a very short program, and we are nearing the end before we transform Hillsborough. So I want to call Mr. Anderson Matheson, a member of the committee also, to move a vote of thanks. Thank you, Mr. Polina. Polina, Secretary of the Ministry of Sky Cup, Mr. Mayor Sales, Governor Williams, Chairman of the 2023 Kerry Kogeda Festival Committee, Mr. Lee Joseph, Superintendent Solomon Stafford, officer in charge of the Canada District, other members of the Royal Canadian Police Force, Mr. Thomas, our distinguished. Team of our Secretary, Secretary is Lily Pascal, other members of the Caribou, the Gender Committee. My task here tonight is the easiest of all to say thank you. Okay. I think I just say thank you to everyone. But we must be specific, so we must first thank, thank the Almighty for giving us fair weather today to ensure that we have. Our officials start with regatta and to ensure that all the participants here will enjoy a good day. Thanks to Father Mayors for blessing us and keeping us present in all that we do. We need his assurance that what we do goes for the benefit of the island. Ms. Mills of the GTA and all other sponsors who are board for the 2023 regatta, we thank you. Because without your corporate sponsorship, the festival cannot proceed as we want to. Superintendent so Solomon Stafford and the members of the Royal Grenada Point Force for keeping the peace and ensuring that while we enjoy the festival for 2023, we are able to do so in peace and tranquility as the child is known for, especially your of folks here in Kairam Mr. Joseph and the team at the Character Regatta Committee, we thank you for taking up the challenge to organize and execute the 2023 Regatta. And we assure you that as the week continues into the event, you're going to see what all the had planning over the weeks have been bringing to fruition. To the next, the Permanent Secretary representing the Ministry and the Ministry here this afternoon. We thank the Ministry and UPS for all that you have done financially, morally, verbally to support the 2023 Regatta to ensure that we have a successful festival. To you, the patrons who are here now and those who are still coming, we thank you for supporting Regatta and those who are going to the Astoria, Grenada, Mainland, wherever you are, looking at it at us on social media, we urge you to come on over and be part of the festival. It's going to be a grand occasion, as we say, timeless culture on the sea. And we're going to make sure that everyone coming to Caribou will be welcome and have a wonderful time. So finally, I want to thank you all for coming here, the pan players, the maple dancers, and all the spectators. Thank you. And as we leave it, you know, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much, Mr. Madison. And of course, thank you for saying thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the first part of the program. And of course, we'll say goodbye to the members of the platform as we set the stage for the second half. So we now have the DJ play a little musical interlude and we come right back. <laughs>
Before we begin, I want to recognize our sponsors, the government of Grenada, Grenada Tourism Authority, Arise Credit Union, Republic Bank, Paddy's Enterprise, Grenlick, Hotel Marina, Grenada Bottling Company, that's the agent for Coke and uh, the Sunny Water, and of course, Carol Cruz, Internet Marie issues, Limited. so I'm going to end Ladies live and, gentlemen, we get and start for back again. Apple Just Home give team. me less than a store. minute. For on Thursday, there will be a new Thursday. link, so... Tune in to Extra right. Power Point, Piggy Martin. I'm going to get the link now.